Hey there and welcome back to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Rowan from the Ghostbusters movie. So we start by drawing in the upper brow line. So in the center of the face, in the middle, I'm just going to draw a little point. From here I'm going to curve up towards the left, so down and up, and then flatten it out as I get towards the outer edge. And let's go and do the same but opposite on the right side. So starting from the inside again, curving down, going up, and then flattening out as we get to the top. In the center here, I just want to draw a straight line going up. Let's draw the uh, eyes. So on the left side, underneath this brow, I'm going to draw a little oval like this. We'll color that in black. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So starting from the upper brow, curving down, back up. We'll color that in black. From here, let's go ahead and draw in a nose. So right underneath the brow, I'm going to draw sort of like a U shape. And then on the left side, I'm just going to curve a little lump out. We'll do the same thing on the right side, just for the sides of the nostril. From here, let's draw on the upper cheeks. So on the side of the nostril on the left, I'm going to curve up. On the right, we'll do the same thing, just underneath the eyes. And we're just going to curve and flatten this out in the opposite direction. So just curving and flattening that out. Let's go ahead and draw on the mouth. So just below the nose and the cheeks, we're just going to draw a curve. Going down in the middle and then back up. And on the ends, we're going to curve these back down toward the side of the mouth. Curve them down. And we'll connect those ends with a curve. So just going straight across with a curve coming down the middle and back up. Let's give Rowan some teeth. So along the top edge, we're going to draw some elongated sort of V shapes. You can draw a couple along the top, a little gap here and there. Draw a tiny one on the end there. We'll go ahead and color the bottom edge in black. Go and draw the bottom lip. So just underneath the mouth, in the middle here, we're just going to draw a curve going across. And now we're going to draw in the chin. So we're going to just draw a curve just from underneath the mouth to the bottom of the chin and then back up on the right side. From here on the sides of the temple, we're going to draw the sides of the cheek. So going over on the left side, we're going to draw a point. On the right, making sure they're at the same height, we'll draw another point here. This is a starting point for the temples going in towards the chin. So from here, I'm just going to curve and just make sure that this overlaps behind the chin there. Do the same thing on the right side. So curving across. I just want to make sure that this is balanced out on both sides like that. Let's go up and go towards the top of the head. So from this point, I'm going to curve up and in. On the right side, we'll do the same thing. So curving up and in. And then we're going to do some overlapping. So going up towards that tip that's sort of bent over on the left side, we're going to do an overlap and curve up. We're going to go back down here and draw the tip. So curving down and then up to the middle. Now this is going to come back up on the right side. And we're going to tuck this in sort of behind that line on the right. So there's the head. Let's get into the body. So the first thing I want to do is probably draw in the little bow tie. So let's start with the center knot. On either side of the chin, we're going to draw two curves bowing outward. So this way, almost like brackets. And the bottom, we're going to connect it with a curve. Now let's draw the little bow. So starting on the left side, in this corner here, Curve down and out. We'll curve this in. Now we're going to draw the upper side. So curving out again and tucking that in underneath the chin. In the center here of this knot, I'm just going to draw a curve going out. On the right, we're going to do the same thing. So starting from this bottom corner, we'll curve down and out. Curve up. We'll do another curve. And then we'll tuck this in underneath the chin. In the center here, we're going to draw a little curve for the knot. Let's go ahead and draw the shoulders. So I'm going to have the arms coming down to fists and just standing in a straight position. So let's start with the upper shoulders. So up here, I'm going to draw the upper shoulders. So they're going to make the shoulders quite big. So up here on the top of the brow area, I'm going to curve down on both sides. Like that. Now let's round out the shoulders. So we're going to do some uh, overlapping. So we're going to go behind the trapezius muscle here and just draw a curve. Just coming across like that. Curve on both sides. Now from here, I want to go in and just layer in the body now. So from here, I'm going to draw in the chest. So from the same height as the shoulder line, I'm going to move across. Just draw a curve going in. Same thing on the right side. So right here, I'll curve in. So this is just the size of the chest. The arms are going to wrap around the side. Let's go ahead and draw in the upper body. So right here along the chest line, I'm just going to draw a curve like this on both sides for the sides of the body. Now that we have that in place, we know the arms are going to sort of go outwards this way. 
So let's start with the left side. We're going to draw the biceps. So along this chest line, we're going to move up a little bit, draw a curve. From here, I'm going to do an overlap. I'm going to curve down towards the wrist. Now from here, I'm going to do an overlap and draw on the thumb. So we're going to draw on this knuckle. Overlapping, we'll draw a little curve like that. We're going to draw a little bracket on the end of that curve. We're going to step in and just layer in the first finger. We're just drawing one finger like that. So curving around that little bracket. Step back, do another curve. Now the third finger, we're going to go all the way up to the shoulder here. So we start in the shoulder area if you want. And curve all the way down and just tuck this in behind that finger there. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So we're going to draw the bicep first. So curving around, we're going to draw the inner part of the forearm down towards the knuckle. We'll do an overlap and draw the thumb like that with a curve. We'll draw a little bracket to finish off that thumb. Now we're going to layer in the fingers. So going around that bracket, do an overlap with the second one. Now the third one, we're going to go all the way back up towards the shoulder. So going up and just tucking that in behind the shoulder like that. Okay, so we've got the upper body. Let's get into the final stage of legs. So the legs come down, or the body's coming down to the hips here. We draw the legs. So here's the hips here. Let's draw the lower torso line. Okay, so this is where the body ends and this is where the legs start. We start with the inside part of the leg on the left side. So stepping in, draw a curve. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So you see that the lower torso overlaps the inner part of the leg. From here, back on the left side, we're going to curve down towards the heel. Now we're going to draw the bottom part of the foot. So we're just going to draw a big curve going across like that. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So it's always easiest to balance your image out if you go from left to right. Going across like that. Now we're going to draw the toe. So the toe curls up a little bit. So from the tip of the left foot, we're going to curve up. And then we'll curve back down. On the right side, let's do the same thing. So curving up. Curving back down. Now the leg is going to overlap on top of the foot. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the side of the body here. Let the body overlap the leg. Curve around and just down to right about there. On the right side we'll do the same thing. So curving around, down to about there. And all we need to do is connect the toe and the leg by stepping up and just drawing a curve in between. Just like that. And there we have it. There's Rowan from the Ghostbusters movie. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.